Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing my weekly shop my stash, so we're going to be doing it a little bit different. I couldn't pass up the chance to show this beautiful eye look that I'm wearing on my eyes today. This look was inspired by Angelica Nickbeas. She actually got inspired by uh, Tina at the Fan Fancy Face. She used her Hella palette. I don't have that palette. She just released a palette with um, Odin's Eye, and it's her Hella palette. So as I was saying, I was inspired by the look she did on her video, and since in this week's, this previous week's shot my stash, I had my Paulina Beauty and Blush Charge palette. I did this beautiful look with this palette, and I was really, again, inspired by her palette collab, her look that she did, and she did do that look when she did her Trend Mood unboxing and the Lunar Beauty unboxing. Um, so this is what I have on my eyes today. I think I have a combination of every single shade except for these two shades. So I have this on my outer part, this on my crease, the bright shade Friends in my inner part of my eye, the middle shade is Siggy, Siggy, and then I have uh, Soleil, Soleil right here, this shade on my inner, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the inner part of my eye is a shimmer. And then I have Humble on my lower lash as well as Angel blended out and then I have the pink like blended out for aubergine I think my palette's a little bit different because I think these shades were supposed to be swapped out in the original palette but that's okay I have a palette itself and I have loved using it this week got really good use from me I did a really subtle look with this palette did a, this beautiful look and again I really was inspired by this look because she just came out with a palette and I'm not gonna be purchasing her palette I'm not buying it from Odin's Eye I supported her by watching her video, but I have this palette, and this reminds me of her palette. I know her palette has a little bit more grungy shades, but I do have the Tina palette as well from Odin's Eye, so I kind of want to pull that one for the next rotation. But anyways, that's just what's on my eyes today. I wanted to talk about that. I also have the inner corner. I have the pearls that I pulled out to use. I've only used them this time. I've never used them any other time, but I have them in my inner corner. They're just a tiny little pearls here. Um, But I don't know. I just... I guess I'll just have to, like use these every so often when I do some looks like this but didn't really reach for these but today my naked palette was also one that was in this previous shot my stash this is a naked cherry beautiful color story again I played with a lot of valentine's day looks and I was really happy with those I figured why not I used a lot more of the, this palette than I thought I would I used it with a lot of other palettes that I'll talk about here this was a go-to especially for these inner uh corner highlights and brow bone shades I love these shades here this shade in Young Love and Drunk Dial are so beautiful. And again, I just really enjoyed using this palette and playing with it, mixing it with other palettes. So that was also in my previous shot, my stash. I had the Natasha Nona Mini Love. I played with this one a lot as well. I really like this palette. I love this color story. You guys know Valentine's Day was around the corner when I was doing these eye looks. So I really am happy with this one as well. Beautiful mini. My Bloom's palette from Alter Ego. I only play with this like once or twice. I did reach into this palette for these shimmers. I reached to for this palette with combination of these because they have a similar color story. Um, but I will say I really like this palette because it is a good drugstore, more affordable, not drugstore. It's a more affordable uh, palette for this brand. This is based off of the Mini Love palette, or the, actually no, the Mini Love palette from Natasha Nona, if I'm not mistaken. And this is like a dupe for it. I really love this palette. I like the color story. You guys know I love my berries and my reds and my beiges or whatever. Those colors, you know, the pinks, purples, and all that. I also have the khaki haze. Now, what I will say about this palette, I was kind of disappointed. I did two looks for work. I, this was like more of the palette that I reach for every day as well as the, what I'll talk about next. I just am not as impressed with these mini, or mini palettes from Huda as I am with her full-size palettes, unfortunately. I just feel like this palette is like it's okay it's not the best the shimmers are more like toppers they're not really like intense shades like they're not really like the best from her this one's really beautiful but um the other ones are more like topper shades like these three are more like topper shades it's a pretty palette again but I just I'm not super impressed by her mini palettes I did get that with a gift card for my birthday I believe it was last year so I'm still playing with that one I'm gonna continue to keep it in my collection because it is one of her color stories that I do enjoy but I was just not as impressed with that one. Last but not least, the palette that I had in here also was the Laura Lee. This is as far as eyeshadow palettes. This is the one that I reached for the most for the neutral looks. I did a video you guys will see soon of my uh, getting ready with me and talking about what's in my Sephora cart. So I used this palette in ca on camera. I just did a really simple look 
and I love that palette for every day. It's a really good palette. I love the blendability of those shades. I actually do enjoy her formula. Let's talk about face products. I had my um, Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For primer in here. I'm almost done with this one, so I am keeping it in my collection. I do like this primer. Again, I just have said this a million times. I have other primers that do better than this and that do the same thing. Today, I'm actually wearing one that you'll see me talk about. Um, it's a new one to me, and I've been enjoying it. So this is what I used on my week of my shop my stash for base products i use my beautiful skin from charlotte tilbury this is a beautiful skin foundation i have the shade five neutral it is my perfect shade i think this is breaking me out um i have you guys can see more bumps on my skin here places that i usually don't break out i'm breaking out you can see all the bumps places that i usually don't break out i'm breaking out and i think it has to do with this foundation my skin doesn't like the some of the ingredients that are in here so I am going to, again, continue to play with it. We'll see. I like the coverage. It's like light to medium. It's not a full coverage foundation. You can build it up, but not to full, full coverage. I feel like I did a pretty good job uh, blending it out. I, again, I do see some breakouts, especially in my cheek area. You guys can see those bumps. And it's because of either this or a moisturizer I'm trying. So I, could, I stopped using the moisturizer. Haven't used it for like four or five days. So I'm going to see if it's a moisturizer or if it's been this because I've used it all week. I don't know. We'll see. For concealer, I had the Rare Beauty Concealer in 190W. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer from her line. I like this concealer. I've been using it a lot more. I think this is the perfect shade for me and under my eyes. I like that it's not super full coverage and it blends out really nice and easily. So that's the one that I've been enjoying this week. I also had my Pat McGrath powder in the, this is a Fetish Sublime Perfection Under Eye Powder in the shade Medium. I use this under my eyes, all over my face. And I like this. Again, I'm running really, uh, I'm, I'm kind of leaning more towards the light shade, but I figured I'd pull this in here today and use it. I have it under my eyes. I feel like it does kind of darken my under eyes a little bit. Um, I don't know. I feel like it does kind of darken my under eyes a little bit and it kind of emphasizes my fine lines. So I'm kind of keeping on my eye on this medium shade, but I'm going to continue to use it in my rotation. I also pulled out my Charlotte Tilbury again. I do like this for under the eyes. I use this to set my face and to use under my eyes a little bit for brightening because I feel like that one was too dark, the medium one in the shade from Pat McGrath. So this is one that I love and I continue to use because I did pull it this week. Um, Let's talk about some cheek products. So I had my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzer Glow. I think I only use this like two or three times this week, but I do have a significant dent in my contour shade here. I have the Film Star Bronze and Glow in the shade Fair to Medium. This is a fair, fair face sculpt and a highlight palette. And I use the highlighter. It's a really good natural highlighter. I love this one um, as like a natural highlight. I use this for work a lot. But what is on my face today is the Milk Makeup Highlighter in the shade Lit. It is really sparkly. This is what I mean. Like I'm either really simple with my highlight or I go really bam in your face with this one. And I love this one so much. This is what mine looks like currently. I have a quite a dip in there as well. You can kind of see that. But I love this highlighter. I think it's one of those beautiful highlighters that you can use like to end any look. And it just kind of makes it like pop. You can see it has a lot of more, more micro glitters than the one from Charlotte Tilbury. So that's what I use. For blush, I have today the Olive Flower, Flower Blusher in the shade Sweet Tulip. I really love this shade. It's really intense. I, I have to like... I use, I have a heavy hand with it when it comes to blushes and highlighters, so I have to like put it on and then I have to have grab a clean brush and like blend it out because it is really intense. This is the shade in Sweet Tulip again, and it's a really pretty bright shade, but I have to kind of diffuse it with another brush. It is a really good pop of color. I loved using that this week. I also use my Butter Biscuit Cheeks Out Bronzer from Fenty Beauty, and mine currently looks like this. I am getting more use of it. I actually have been using my cream bronzers with my e.l.f. blending, ultimate blending brush. So I've been really liking using this for blending uh, cream products out. And again, it's just one that I'm going to have to keep my on because I do think it's causing some um, clogging of my pores. So I'm not sure if this will stay a long time in my collection, but we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. I also have my Tatcha Water Cream as a base product this rotation, and I do like this product. Would I necessarily say I would go out and purchase the full size? No, because it's just something that's really pricey. In my opinion, just having a mini of it and finishing up would be good. I also have the Body Language shade in the Nude Sticks Nudies Mattes. I love this shade. It's one of my favorite 
kind of deep berry shades as well. It kind of is very similar to the Sweet Tulip, a little less pink. But I love this uh, this shade and I like the blendability of this cream product. I think these are really good for like people that are starting out with new cream products and want to test out. These are really easy to use. So been enjoying that. And last for Cheeks products, I had the Rare Beauty Mini in the shade Joy. This, a little tiny bit of this goes a long way. So I would say just use a little teeny dot and then blend it out because it does you it does go a long way. So I'm kind of happy that I have a mini of it to try and test out. I do want to purchase one of her bigger shades maybe when the VIB sale comes around. But for now, I'm going to stick to using my mini. So that's what I'm using or that's what I used. I have another empty. This is the Control Freak NYX Brow Gel. I have mine in the shade of clear. I finished this off and I'm going to go ahead and toss it because there's no more product in here. So that's going to get tossed and I do like it. I actually have that in combination with the Wow Brow on my eyebrows today. I feel like they make my eyebrows look a lot fuller. For a color liner, I have the cream gel liner in the shade Visuals on my waterline. So right there I have it. These don't last as long as I would like, but they do add a pop of color for my waterline. So that's always good. On my lips, I have been wearing a lot of this liner. This is the Morphe Sweetheart Liner. Been wearing this one a lot on my lips and it's just a good neutral liner. I feel like this looks good with any lipstick. And you guys know I finally picked up a new lipstick to myself. I kind of treated myself to a new lipstick and I found them at a good deal. It was $7.99 at um, TJ Maxx. And I got this shade Teddy Velvet Teddy from MAC. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's a very good nude lip color. So I'm really happy that I have it in my collection. And then I used my Lifter Gloss. I've been using this one a lot in the shade Stone. Um, just on my lips in combination with the shade um reef so i think these are really good dupes for the fenty beauty glasses so i have these two that i've been using a lot and i enjoy so yeah let's go ahead and go into my collection oh i have one update also i've been using this nars um tinted smudge proof um primer base and i don't feel like this makes my eyeshadow last as long as the revolution pro one does it's much more affordable than this is and I don't know I don't know if it's the shade it just doesn't last as well as I wanted it to so I don't know I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this um, eyeshadow base and like continue to use it and see I just feel like my eyeshadow doesn't last as long with the other one so yeah I don't know I'm not 100% in love with this um, I did love it when I first bought it but I don't know if it's just getting old or I don't know what's going on but I'm gonna continue to keep an eye on this one as well as the cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty so let's go into my collection, switch, pick out new products, and yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we're looking at my base and face products drawer. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and choose is, of course, the new to me Beauty Blender, the Leveler Primer. I'm going to be using this on my face this week and testing it out. I currently am wearing it. I've been loving it. So this is a product that I'm going to pull as a primer. I'm also going to pull the Flower Beauty, the, I'm sorry, the, the Milani Soft Focus Glow. I've been wanting to reach for this one because I want more of a glowy look under my complexion. So I'm going to be using this one and I can also mix it in with foundations. Um, for concealer, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with my Kosas Concealer. Again, I've been wanting to test this out in comparison with the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. I'm going to put these kind of back to back again and try to test these out more and see how I feel um this looks darker in the two but it's actually not that dark keep that in mind so yeah I don't know I'm gonna test these out a little bit more and play with them for a powder I'm gonna go ahead and go with my Ikea Joy Cosmetics powder this is the um velvet finishing powder um for foundation I'm gonna go ahead and go with my Westman Atelier foundations sticks i have two shades i have atelier two and atelier four i'm also going to choose a um my merit stick this is the ochre shade in the skin perfecting complexion stick i do like to use this very quick like for everyday touch-ups or everyday looks so i'm going to use that one as well Let's go into the next drawer, which we're going to go ahead and choose um, some cheek products. So I have here all of my cheek products. And I have my bronzers, blushes, highlighters, and some more cheek products here in the back. 
So let me just kind of adjust you a little bit. We're going to go ahead and start with bronzer and I'm going to go ahead and choose my Rare Beauty bronzing stick in the shade Happy Soul. I also want to reach for my Patrick Ta Duo. This is the She's Sculpted Bronzer Powder and Cream Duo. For blushes, I'm going to go ahead and choose the Tarte shade in the shade Delight. As well as my NARS palette. Actually, I'm going to stick to just my NARS palette this rotation. So I'm going to put the Tarte one back. I'm going to stick to my NARS Exposed palette just to use for more this week. And, you know, play with these colors. For highlighter, I want to choose the Becca. This is new to me. This is the Rose Quartz uh, Limited Edition uh, Pressed Highlighter. They did like a travel version. So I'm going to choose this one. As well as the highlighter that's in the NARS palette. They do have a highlighter in this palette. So I'm going to choose this one too. Um, Let's see. Do I want to use any other products as far as contour goes? I think I'm good on that. I actually have been really happy with what I've chosen. So we're going to go ahead and move on to eyeshadow palettes. This is the first eyeshadow palette drawer. And I don't know what quite yet what I want to choose, but I've been kind of eyeing the Lunar Beauty uh, Moon Spell palette. So I'm going to choose this palette. I also have been wanting to use my Glam from Natasha Nona. I'm going to choose this one. And. I want to choose my Tina Fancy Face Hummingbird Palette. She did a collaboration with Odin's Eye. So this is the palette that I also want to pull to use this rotation. And yeah, that's. I think that's all the palettes I'm going to choose. I do want to do one more maybe from ColourPop. I don't know if I do. Let me see. Yes, I want to choose my Witching Hour Hocus Pocus Palette. So... I'm going to choose this Hocus Pocus and Disney palette to use this rotation as well. Let's go ahead and kind of wrap up the products in my collection and see what I chose. Okay, so we're going to quickly just wrap up all the products that were chosen this week for the rotation. We're going to talk about um, like what kind of color stories I want to use, what kind of looks I want to try to do and achieve. So let's go ahead and start with the base products. So I did mention I pulled out two primers. Uh, one's more of the complexion enhancer, one actually is a primer. The Beauty Blender Leveler Pore Minimizing Primer and the Milani Soft Focus Glow um, Complexion Enhancer in the shade 01 Nude Glow. So I'll be using those two in here. For base products, I have my two shades of the Lesson Atelier, which I enjoy mixing together. I have Atelier 2 and Atelier 4. I do love this foundation. It has been slowly but surely like starting to be like my number one foundation. So I have those two. I also have my Merit Complexion Stick in the shade Ochre that I've been enjoying and I continue to use. It's a really good everyday um, foundation. It has really low to kind of buildable um, light, light cover coverage. And I do like to use it for spot concealing. I did notice a little bit of dryness in my skin, but it's been improving, so I'm excited to use that again. Concealer, I have the Kosas Concealer and the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. I kind of want to test these two back to back um, and kind of just compare the formulations because a lot of people have been saying that they're very similar. I don't have a lot of my Kosas left as well, so I kind of want to get more use of that one. And then again, this is the NYX one. So you can see that there's a little bit of a shade difference. The closest one's a little bit more yellow, which this one's a little bit more nude. But I don't mind that. I'm going to continue to use them both and play with them and enjoy them. Um, I have a Nikia Joy powder in Translucent. This is the Velvet Finishing Powder. For base products, I have my Rare Beauty um, bronzer stick in the shade Happy Soul which I cannot wait to try again. I have my Patrick Ta Duo. This is the She Sculpted Duo. has a cream and powder um, bronzer product, contour product. Um, let's see what else is here. I want to be able to see everything. So for um, cheek products, I chose the NARS um, Exposed Palette. It has beautiful blushes here that I want to use this rotation. A highlighter in here that's also very nice. And then I also chose my 
new to me Becca Rose Quartz Perfector Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter. And I did get this out of TJ Maxx for $12 and, or, yeah, was it Tart Marshalls? I believe it was Marshalls. And I cannot wait to play with this. It's a really beautiful pink shimmer. So, it's so pretty. For palettes, I chose four palettes. I do want to play with these. And uh, I've been wanting to play with this Moonspell palette again. I've been loving these pink and purple color stories as well as the greens I want to play with. And I kind of want to do like a row color story to kind of inspire me to use this more. I also have my Witching Hour ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette that I want to use. And again, with those purples and pinks. But this also has very good neutrals for every day. I also have my Tina at the Fancy Face here on YouTube and Odin's Eye Collab, the Hummingbird palette. And again, getting inspired by that new palette that Angelica Nick Vase came up with and just wanting to use these shades and play with these colors a little bit more and, you know, use some of these very, very unique shimmers that have a little bit of a duo shift like this one and the shade Tropics and just playing with these a lot more would be inspiring to me. So I'm going to use this palette this rotation. And I also have my Glam palette, of course, that I want to use. And, you know, I could use this for really cool tone looks. I've been wanting to play with this one a lot more and use it in color, uh, in compare, in, in conjunction with my Rowan quads. So I have the 52 Degrees Rowan quad. And I have my 1111, new to me, the newest quad to me. Got this one on a sale. So I want to play with this. And I play, play with this palette as well and kind of use them in combination. Um together so that is what is in this week's rotation for this last ish week of february i feel like this month is flying by super super fast and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye